Thank you for joining me today, Colleen. Uh, we are talking about eco-friendly ways of wrapping. Can you say a little bit more on why typical wrapping paper isn't good for the earth? Right. So typical wrapping paper, the uh, one that's wrapped in foil with kind of shiny things all over it, isn't recyclable. So anything that we're wrapping uh, with that paper is going into the garbage. And every year, um, just in Canada alone, we send about 540,000 tons of wrapping paper into the garbage after the holidays. So um, that's a huge amount. Um, and it's like 100,000 elephants or like five uh, CN towers when you put it uh, in perspective. Uh, and uh, on top of that, uh, overall holiday or household waste goes up by about 25%. Uh, during the holidays as well. So it's a big issue and it's something that we could really uh, limit if we just put in some more sustainable alternatives. Yeah, definitely. What was that? A hundred thousand elephants? That is a big number. Yeah, definitely. And so what are some of the alternatives that people can use this Christmas? Uh, so really thinking about what you have around your home. So I love wrapping things in brown paper, uh, whether it be brown paper bags that I get from uh, local stores. Uh, you definitely get them from the liquor mart. Um, you can wrap them in the bags as is. Uh, you can also cut them up to uh, get that, uh, to make it look like just regular brown paper that uh, you could buy from the store. And then you can tie it up with things that you have like reusable ribbon or twine. Uh, you can make it pretty um, with uh, some dried flowers. Uh, that's one way to really give it like a nice rustic look. Uh, and then it's still pleasing to the eye. I know a lot of people are worried about um, making sure their gifts still look very nice and making their receiver want to open them. Um, so um, on top of that, uh, recycling some things like um, Newspaper is great, or comics, if you have a kid or comic lover in the house. Um, if they are musically inclined, using music sheets is really awesome. Uh, we've seen old maps be used. Um, and then again, yeah, tying them up with whatever you have, uh, whether it be twine or ribbon, or um, there's ways you can use without tape. Uh, if you are going to use tape, just use minimal tape. And of course, just reusing bags. So if you do have those uh, shiny uh, gift bags, uh, don't just throw them away uh, because that's not helping the issue either. Making sure you're reusing them as much as you can until they break or until they really become unusable. Yeah. What about what about those dads who on Christmas, they like tell the kids to wrap it, unwrap it gently because they want to reuse the wrapping paper. Is that also a good alternative? Yes, definitely. That's awesome. Um, and then, you know, a lot of people, they they love the um, act of just like ripping apart the paper. So um, if you are able to take it apart nicely, um, then you can use that for, for years to come. I've heard of people um, always just reusing their paper. So it's always great to uh, think of what you have and use it for as long as possible. That's really where the big difference comes in. Um, and uh, you make that impact on lowering your carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. And we're also kind of coming up on New Year's, and that's the time where people start to make their New Year's resolutions. And maybe they want to start being a little bit at reducing. They want to work on reducing their carbon footprint. What are some of like the really easy things that they can do as a New Year's resolution to be more environmentally friendly? Uh, so uh, like some things that I did from the start, I guess, um, were like especially around waste reduction where like just to stop buying bottled water. Um, if I didn't need it, then I wouldn't buy it. I would carry my water bottle around. If I forgot my water bottle, then I would let myself go thirsty or get a cup of water, drink that, and then maybe it's not ideal, um, but it's a way to kind of hold yourself accountable. And then the next time you're gonna realize, oh, I don't wanna be drinking the tap water out of that cup this time, or something, um, then you will bring your water bottle. And I have a nice insulated water bottle now. And so it really does uh, motivate me to bring it around because then I have nice ice cold water wherever I go. <laughs> and um, that's one thing. So just 
uh, like eliminating plastic bottles from your life. Um, same thing goes with plastic bags. Um, so just being like prepared to refuse things, single use items. Uh, so I'll have my totes um, and my reusable bags in the trunk of my car, or I have at least one or two in my purse at all times too. That way, if I do unexpectedly impulse buy something or um, or happen to uh, be in the grocery store and, and buy something on my way home and it's too big to fit into my bag, um, then I have that option. And then again, if I didn't have uh, my bags available, I would walk out of the store holding these items to again, hold myself accountable um, and then remember to bring them in next time. Um, and then again, with being prepared, um, I like to carry some reusable cutlery around with me too. So if you are ordering food, you can say no to the plastic cutlery um, and then the plastic straw. And I noticed that the really big thing is remembering to refuse it. So remembering to ask for it without, because a lot of uh, people will just automatically give it to you. Um, it is known as better customer service to make sure they're supplied with everything. But if you're someone who doesn't want that and doesn't want that extra waste, then it kind of goes backwards. Uh, so just making sure you're responsible for it yourself and just asking no extras, no um, cutlery, no straw, please, uh, that kind of thing. Hmm. Yeah, overall, just kind of be prepared. That was kind of something you said a lot. That's great. Uh, is there kind of anything else that you want to talk about, whether it's regarding the wrapping paper or just being, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Recyclable friendly or whatever? Um, there's a lot of waste that comes along with the holidays, um, that being for wrapping paper, that being for gifts in general, because a lot of our gifts are replacing things that are seen as old, but not actually unusable or not actually broken. Um, so just being mindful of what it is that you are buying for people and giving people, making sure it's something that they want, that they need. It can be an eco-friendly option as well, um, or a green alternative, and then it can kind of get someone on the right track. Um, and then also knowing um, that it doesn't have to wait until the new year to kind of start something good in your life. Um, it's even better if you get it started now. There's still uh, at least two weeks left in the year and you can just uh, get that habit kind of rolling. And then once it becomes that habit, um, soon it will become second nature and just starting small. So if this year you are able to wrap a couple gifts in a sustainable way, um, I'm sure you still have that uh, reserve of wrapping paper. So make sure you use it for what it's intended for. Don't just let it sit there. Um, but if you're just able to do a couple and uh, get crafty however you like, um, then just be happy and be proud of yourself for that. Don't be too hard on yourself. Definitely. Well, Colleen, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. It's been great.